Monday the 13th of April, day 26, it is bank holiday, so because in the bank holiday spirits, I'm going to have a chill out day, I'm going to try and relax, I want to catch up on some TV shows, play some games, I'm going to attempt to have a whole day where I just relax, which is going to be a big deal for me. I've even dressed up though, slouchy, this is a baggy crop top that I love, I uh, got it actually from a charity shop, and then I've got some shorts on, which... I got from Wish that look gross but they're really comfortable to just sit around and do nothing in. So I'm going to game, I'm going to see how many games I can play today, see how, much, how many TV shows I can catch up on and hope for the best and hope that I don't get fidgety because I can't sit still for too long. But let's go start at the consoles and have a chill out day. Doing nothing today was probably the biggest mistake I've ever done. Just sitting, playing games, watching TV, probably not the best way for me to survive this whole process not only have i probably eaten my body weight in crappy food um my mentality has gone downhill i feel like crap i'm miserable i'm sad i'm lonely i feel like i don't know i feel depressed and it's all from just one day of doing nothing so yeah i'm not going to spend that again i'm going to start again planning my days keeping myself occupied and busy because if i have another day like this yeah, I was miserable. Tuesday the 14th of April, day 27. Um, in theory I should have worked Tuesday, but if not I might try and start sorting out my spare room because I um, have a lot of books and I need to try and work out a better way to display them slash store them. Mood wise, I'm a bit gloomy today. Um, I mentioned it yesterday how I had a lazy day and it messed up my mood and it's continued through today. Like I just keep thinking it feels like it's the beginning of the end of the world. Like, so much has happened in 2020 and it's just like, I don't know, it feels like it's the end of the world. And I'm really annoyed about that because like 2020 was going to be my year. I was so determined to accomplish things in 2020 because I was, I'm finally in a good place for myself. And I was like, yeah, 2020, I can do this. I can accomplish something. But instead I'm just like locked in my house constantly. Like, yay. Um, I'm ready to reset 2020. Restart it. Just go to 21. Just get rid of the year. I'm done with it. Um, so is that and also I've noticed that I've been struggling to sleep since we've been in lockdown like I'm not going to usually I sleep go to bed like 10 o'clock 11 o'clock but I can't fall asleep now until like 1 2 in the morning and then when I do fall, actually fall asleep I wake up again because I have these really weird dreams and they like mess me up it feels like I'm on drugs I, I've never been on drugs but this is what I imagine drugs would be like because they're, they're really weird things they're clowns they're like stars they're deaf I don't know it's really weird stuff We've had a buddy jumping around the other day and I don't know, it's weird, they wake me up and it messes me up. But yeah, I'm, the only thing keeping me sane is this little girl, because she needs me, she needs my love and she needs my attention and if it wasn't for her I wouldn't be getting out of bed anymore I don't think. So yeah, let's just see if i got any work to do, if not give we all some more love. Wednesday the 15th of April, day 28. Um, I've got work to do this morning, probably quite busy this morning with work, so that's what I'll be doing today this morning. Then this afternoon I'm going to research quilting because I've been keeping all my old geeky t-shirts that are too small or just scruffy and I want to make them into a quilt. So I'm going to start researching quilting, just see what I actually need to do it and to start reading up about it and then maybe even begin it. Um, and I also am going to sketch out my plan for my spare room so I can have a redesign. I've just decided I want to have a complete and art redesign for it and I might get rid of some stuff as well whilst I'm at it. We'll just see. But I will probably, pro I will record some of that process I think. But I'm gonna go wash up quickly before I start doing work. It's half 12 and it feels like I've not accomplished anything for work. I'm really struggling without a printer. Like I'm very, I have to visual, I have to have the things in front of me and I'm st I've got so much to do but I can't keep flicking between the two screens because it's confusing me and make my eyes hurt. I have been writing stuff down, like I've nearly filled this whole notebook up with um, writing, I think I've got like seven pages left or something and it's still not helping me. I need a printer, I have ordered one, it's cost me like 50 quid because that's all they had in stock because all the cheap printers are out of stock but it was all they had in stock so I had to pay 50 pound on my own money to get a printer that I'm only going to use for this once it, I go back to work it will never get used again because I don't use printers and um, yeah, it's not even going to be here probably till like middle of next week or something. So I've got to continue to struggle. I think I'll have to get a new notebook out and just start afresh and try from there. I've got like 20 different jobs I'm trying to get done at once. 
which is frustrating me as well. I just, I don't know, I need a break. I'm gonna go have some lunch, I think, and have rest my head, because I really don't feel well now. Thursday the 16th of April, I believe it's day 30. Not 100% sure, it might be day 29, I may have skipped a day, I don't know. Um, I've got some work to do this morning, and then when I have it, I'm either gonna have it as a break, depending on how much work I've got to do, or I'm gonna just do it in this afternoon. But I've been collecting for probably two years now old t-shirts, like this bag is filled with old geeky t-shirts because what I want to do is make a geeky t-shirt quilt because I like the designs, I don't want to get rid of them but they just don't fit me anymore or they're a bit too big on me so I thought I'd make them into a quilt so today what I'm going to do is try and cut them to size and plan it to see if I've got enough t-shirts to start sewing the quilt together so that's going to be today's plan How many other people that are working from home have like an assistant? Like. I have to hold her in place because otherwise she. I'll just. Yeah. She does this. But she's just too cute. She wants to be a bush, she's purring away. Gave up doing my quilt. I've discovered I can't cut the squares until I have the like right. like the interfacing on the t shirts because the t shirts just kept moving. So I gave up with that. Instead, I went for a walk and then I put up this netting around my bed, which I think looks really cool i really like it um the cat is now discovering it for herself um i'm not sure what she thinks of it what do you think wigs i don't think she cares but i want i've, I've turned out i've wanted this for ages and i just think it looks really magical which is why i wanted it and i always, i'd love a poster bed a big poster bed instead but i don't know i think this is really cool